You know, when you need to machine large parts, I mean really large parts, you need specialized equipment. I'm standing in front of a very, very large specialty mill drill machine. I'm with Brad Kleino, he's service manager for Terrasync. And Brad, we're standing in front of one of the largest pieces of equipment that you're gonna see anywhere. Tell me about it. Yep, well this, this machine here, it's a deep hole drilling machine. Uh, it's made in the USA for mold and dye industry. She uh, carries about 60 tons on a rotating table. Uh, it has two drilling heads. The main drilling head has an 83 inch depth drill tape. Then it also has a milling head that carries out uh, other functions like a boring mill function, thread milling, tapping, uh, face milling, and taking care of um, mold repair. Uh, so the machine itself has our proprietary control on it. Uh, it also uh, has options for other controls. We've pretty much gone cross-platform with a lot of different things, and because we're a custom machine manufacturer, uh, we can go across all those platforms and make sure we're, customers are comfortable. So. Okay, and what, what, sort of, what sort of accuracy or repeatability are we talking about? Because this is, I mean, gun drilling's an entirely different kind of technology, because you got a lot of stick out with the tools, you got a lot of reach. Yep, yeah, yeah absolutely. So the, the drill, the main drill itself is, has a drift of a, a less than a thou per, per foot of travel. Okay. Uh, so, and then the rest of the machine is calibrated within 10 micron. The tendency in the automotive industry is toward larger and larger molds. Yep. So Sagasis, his technology is invented, of course, they want to blow faces, plumpers, yeah. very, very large assemblies at that point. Yep. Uh, is, is that where we're going with this? Are the molds and the tools getting bigger, the machines yep. bigger? Okay. So this, this particular machine and for the way it was designed was for uh, Sea-Doo and jet ski molds. So instead of doing it in two pieces, both halves are done in one shot. So that's why it takes so much weight because each of those mold halves carry about 20 to 25 tons a piece. So up to 50 tons are gonna be rotating on this, but they get the job done all at once. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Now on the other extreme of that, the packaging guys, uh, mm -hmm. the name of their game is more cavities. So sure. it's small, but they just want a huge number of cavities. Yep. Stack mold guys, they wanna stack them up. Is yep. it application in that industry too? Yep, so there's different, obviously, uh, configurations for the machine. So mm -hmm. the rotating cable, this one's uh, different as it holds the T-slots, but uh, we can do an FCS table top, so it's got pallet changing capability. We also have magnetic uh, tabletop. So different functionality based on the type of work that they do. So we accommodate pretty much every platform. Now it's, in this case, you've got multiple capabilities, in, including tapping. Yep. It's, in a typical setup, would they use all the capability of the machine in one setup, or would you tend to use a second or third ops? I mean, you've got a pretty heavy part you're putting on there. I imagine yep. you want to do as much as you can in one yep. setup. So. Yep. Yeah. So depending, obviously, with what their, how their programs run, uh, with drilling into molds, there are a lot of cross lines. Mm -hmm. So sometimes they have to drill the hole, tap it, plug it, yeah. and move on to the next hole. So it's whatever makes the most sense each time they go through their programs. So depending on the type of mold that they're doing, you know, they'll use the whole functionality of the machine okay. for the whole thing. So. Uh, in terms of tooling, is, uh, how's tooling change in this? Do you change this? Do you swap this out manually? This one is manual. Mm -hmm. This yeah. one's manual, but uh, we do offer options where it has a, a moving tool changer to swap out the auxiliary head, and uh, we have development for a gun drill swap out. All right, so you, you can, use a machine like this for roughing application? Yep. Okay. Absolutely. Okay, so you're gonna put a fly cutter in the end of that, and yep. I can, I can yep. hog so material put a big off. shell, you know, six inch shell cutter on the end of it, so you can go ahead and face off a block or rough out a portion of a block. Uh, you're limited to the to the depth of it on this mill, I mean, this mill particularly, but it, uh, it can take care of some heavy duty work for you and get it onto another machine for finishing, so. Hopefully one of ours. If you've got a 60 ton automotive injection mold and you need a way to cross drill those cooling channels, Brad Kleinhouse says, Taurus has your machine.